everybody and happy Thursday. So today I have a book to read to you. It's called And Then It's Spring. It's written by Julie Fogliano and it's published by Roaring Brook Press, which is an imprint of Matkins. And we want to thank them for allowing us to read this book to you today. And this book is for everyone out there who is trying to get your garden started. And then it's spring. First you have brown. All around you have brown. What's it looking like outside? Did we have a lot of brown? Then there are seeds. And look, he's planting in the ground. How many of you have started your gardens or have started your little seedlings? And a wish for rain. And then it rains. It rained this weekend, didn't it? It rains a lot in April. And it is still brown, but a hopeful, very possible sort of brown. He's hoping, and look, he's out there in the mud, in the rain. Do you like going out and stomping around in the mud and rain? And is that a little bit green? No, it's just brown sort of brown. That's always a lot of fun when you start. Is it, is it growing? Is it starting? And then it is a week. It's a week. And do you see this dog? This book has so many really cool pictures. Do you see the dog? He's digging and it looks like he's trying to dig his bone. Charlie loves to dig things. He loves to bury his bones. And you worry about all those little seeds. He has all those little, I wonder what he's worried about. And if maybe it was the birds. Do you think the birds ate the seeds? Or maybe it was the bears and all that stomping because bears can't read signs that say things like, please do not stomp here. There are seeds and they are trying. Do you think the bears were stomping? I don't know. I don't have bears in my yard. And then it is one more week. And if you look here, we've not only got the dog, but we've got rabbits, we've got turtles, we've got little animals and trees. The pictures on this are just awesome. And then the brown, still brown, has a greenish hum that you can only hear if you put your ear to the ground and close your eyes. And do you see all this going on underneath? Do you see all that? There's worms, there's little mice, there's probably some groundhogs. Do you see all those? Look at all that work that's happening under. Look at that. And then it is one more week. Must be getting nicer outside because he put up his swing. And a sunny day. That sunny day that happens right after that rainy day. And if you look at all these, there's all these different kinds of seeds. And right here, there's a little sign that says bone. <laughs> that must be where the dog hit his bone. And you can even see the dog is sleeping in the wagon. Sleeping just like Charlie is. And you walk outside and check on all that brown. And what do you think is gonna happen? Do you think the seeds started? Let's find out. But now the brown isn't around. And now you have green. 
all around you have green. And look, all the little plants started. We even have this little sign here that says, please do not stomp here. There are seeds that are trying. the end. I would love to know what you think about this book and it would be really really fun if you came and checked this one out at the library because the pictures in this are just beautiful. So let me know what you think on our Instagram page and stop in the library and come visit me. I will be back next week with several brand new stories that I can't wait to share with you. So until then, I hope you have a great rest of your week and a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you back here on Tuesday. Bye for now.